Hello everyone, hold on. We're using my other camera now. It's me and Haley, we're on a date. I drug her along to go look for mysterious tunnels in uh, the Badger ammunition plant. Um, but yeah. All right, we are here walking up because I think this will lead us to the reservoir. Can you hike? It says road close to public travel. Um, yeah, I think it's just for roads, for cars. If anybody says anything, we'll be like, oh, we thought it was just for cars. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure the tunnels are going to be in here somewhere because this goes up to the old reservoir. So we'll show you that when we get up there. I also realized that I said uh, Badger Army plant, but you might not realize, know what that is. So um, near uh, Devil's Lake, that's Devil's Lake right over there. Uh, Butterfly. More butterflies. I've never seen those butterflies before. The uh, army built a massive ammunition plant um, to make ammunition for World War II. Um, I think they did the Korean and the Vietnam War as well before it was shut down. Um, but this is a massive property. It had 10,000 employees and... Their families, I think, lived here too, because they had housing as well. So, but it was at least 10,000 people big. So, it was basically a small city, pretty much, uh, when it was all said and done. So, yeah, we're just going to head up here. No, you got to get pictures of the butterflies. Ooh, look at butterflies. <laughs> all right, we're heading up. See if we can find anything interesting. I'm recording. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, just Jesse decided to wander down this random path that's not on the map, and uh, we don't really know where we're going. So I just wanted to chime in and let you guys know that because Jesse likes to leave things out. But we're approaching this mysterious jump spot. Creature. Also, don't mind me. Jesse told me he was taking me on flat surfaces because I had a roller coaster of a night last night. And he just made me climb a mountain. I didn't realize it was like So, okay. almost died back there, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh my god, there's like a big tower. I don't think we're supposed to be back here. It's like really suspicious. I'm kind of scared. Jesse, wait! I'm nervous. There's a whole bunch of old signs. I don't think we're supposed to be back here. No, that's the closed area right there. We're right next to the closed area. We're allowed to be here. So I think that's the reservoir. I think we found it. He's so excited. It's like Christmas for him. <laughs> He's been waiting for this day to come so we could go without children, and we are going without children. Like, it's a sign graveyard from when this was a village. And big, tall, scary post that goes point straight up to the sky. And butterflies. There's so much natural wildlife back here, it's beautiful. We're not going that way, sir. That's a deer trail, not a Jesse trail. Oh, we found the reservoir. So, Jesse, explain this reservoir to us. What What is it used for? I don't know. It had water in it. Oh. Probably water at some point for the uh, military installation. This is coming. Uh, my feet are going to stay on the trail. You can take the camera to show them, though. I've found some flowers I want on a tattoo. <laughs> okay. See? Look how big this is. I did not realize it was going to be this big. Look at this. This is huge. That's cool. Glad we found that.
So I'm not going to go here because this is closed for a reason, but I'm just going to show you guys. Here's another angle. It looks like somebody knocked down the fence, but look, you can get another angle at it. Okay, I'd love to go and wander around in there, but they have it closed for a reason. So we have to be safe and follow the laws and stuff. Okay, so we found the reservoir. Now we have to find the tunnels. Wish I had binoculars or something. Huh. Interesting. That one looks like it's full of water over there. Alright, back on our hunt for tunnels. Alright you guys, I'm going this way because I found a gate. Haley's staying there. <laughs> Gotta stay a little bit weary of uh, rattlesnakes and stuff. Alright. Well, I think... Look at the old post. The old fence. I think this connects to Devil's Lake. Yeah. This is definitely the path slash road thing that connects to Devil's Lake. There's something this way too. Definitely a trail. I don't know where it goes. But we're not going to go that way. But yeah. So this would take us to Devil's Lake. We might come from the other end if we have time. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to go connect back with Haley now. If she's panicking. So we're going to start a whole Haley vlog here to attach to whatever Jesse's filming because he just abandoned me. All of a sudden we're walking and he just takes off. And I almost just kept going straight because I didn't realize that he was gone. But he's gone. Ah. Uh, as you guys are going to see, he's exploring a gate, but he just wandered away. So here I am. Um, kind of just here. I guess that's what happens when you marry someone like him. But it's not bad. It's okay. Just reminding myself that we're all going to be okay because he uh, just informed me that there's black bears up here. But I just saw a creature wander into the trees. So we're good. We're all fine. But just wanted to chime in on uh, what's going on with me. So you... Hopefully he puts this in there because you can get two point of views of what's going on behind the scenes of the wandering watches. What really happens? Let me show you. And you can't even see him. Oh, there's his little blue hat. There he is. So, yeah, I don't want her to panic too much. All right, there she is. Do you see her? We made it back. We're alive. It's okay. Nobody panic. All right, we made it back. All right, back on our tunnel hunt. This, all right, so <laughs> we're not going to... Uh, go down that way anymore because based on the map and Google images I don't think the tunnels are down that way so we're gonna look this way now because you can drive further down that way um, and then we're gonna run to Devil's Lake and then we're gonna see how far we can get on this road from Devil's Lake and see if we can find any clues or anything there so we are doing that we're also gonna stop and take a bathroom break they gotta pee. Yep, exactly. It's hard for a lady to pee out here. Yep. We'll have to get you one of those things. No, I don't have a zipper. Oh, well, then that's your problem. <laughs> Yet another unrealistic thing from the women's fashion world. No zippers. Sorry, ladies. 
Once you get your pants on, they ain't coming off. <laughs> Sucks to be you. All right, we're going. We'll make it there eventually, we hope. We'll see. We have hope. There's a dragonfly right there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's been following us pretty much since we first walked through here the first time. Now we're heading back to the car. It's like our guardian angel or something. I don't know. We'll see. We're almost to the top again. So then it's just downhill, which will make it a lot easier to do and get where we need to be. All right. Goodbye. All right. We found the gate and the car. We're gonna get in the car and we're gonna head back this way like that because we didn't see any trace of the tunnels over there. So I think it's somewhere along there. Um, so we're gonna drive along the trail, see if we can see anything that looks promising. If not, we might have to come back another day and actually hike that trail that I found and see if we can find any trace over there. All right, we'll let you know how it goes. Ah, sorry, I'm getting used to this camera and recording it, but like, we're driving. This place has been so beautiful and I like to paint. I'm not like the best painter, but I love to paint. Anyways, I got in some really cool pictures and ideas of things that I want to paint from just being out in this nature. And I haven't seen so many butterflies and dragonflies in like a long time. So if you're in Wisconsin and you want to just be with nature, and yeah, it's kind of eerie because it's got a past and it's got a history, but you're definitely with the nature and it's also kind of easy. I know I made a joke about like dying because I couldn't breathe, but that's just because I'm dramatic and I have asthma and there is a big hill. So <laughs> if you have your inhaler, you're fine. But you definitely, it's a nice experience to be like in a quiet, natural setting where there's just flowers growing free and butterflies growing free. It's beautiful. So, Jesse told me to record if I wanted to, so I am. So now you guys get to listen to the ramblings of Haley. But at least you get to see some nature through a car window because we're driving to the next part. We're attempting to find the next part. But yeah, I got an idea for a tattoo, well the rest of the tattoo that I want to get from being out here. Got the rest of the flowers I want. It's so pretty. Also, on our way back, we passed like a giant pile of poo. So there is big wildlife out here. It's probably bear. Jesse says it's probably bear. Which is terrifying. And you know he has bear spray, but he doesn't bring it with him when he's actually a bear around. You don't need bear spray against black. Did we find the tunnels yet? No. We're stopping. Why are we stopping? I'm trying to find a trace of the tunnels. Okay. But I think they were back that way. I think we had to walk more. You think? Yeah. Why? Because we're already right here. I don't think they're along the road. There's a person. Yep, that's the, the Great Sock Trail. Oh. Okay, well, I'll let you go while we figure out what we're gonna do next. You guys, I don't know if you can see it. There's a big bird. Oh, how do you zoom? That little slider. Oh, I think it's gone. Oh, we missed it. We were pretty sure it was an eagle, so we wanted you guys to get an opportunity to see it. 
This is really cool. Well, yeah. Must have landed. Oh, well. well, you know, if we see another one. All right, so we think we found the road that connects Devil's Lake, like the old road, to the ammunition plant. So we're gonna drive down here. It's a dead end. And then we're gonna walk the rest of the way to see um, where it goes. And we don't even really know where this road goes. So I guess we're called the Wandering Wunches for a reason. We're gonna go wander to the unknown. Jesse's favorite thing to do. There was just a piece of brick on the side of the road, mm -hmm. which is kind of intimidating. Just letting you guys know what I see, because I know when you're looking through the camera, it's kind of hard to pick out some things that you can see, that, that we see. But, whoa, look at that, guys. Some old, there was a glare. Some old oh, that's cement. a rock. That's a rock? Yeah. Just a giant boulder. Wow. Kind of cool. cool. Giant boulders. There's a lot of giant boulders back here. Okay, put it in the comments. Do you think it was just a giant boulder? Or do you think it may have been remains from like something? something? So there's a there's a quite a bit back there. Look at these flowers. Oh, look at they got pretty lily things. Going on the side of the road. They're orange. They're like on either side. I don't know about you guys, but like, since this whole Save the Bees movement has been going on this summer, I have noticed so many more wildflowers. Just everywhere. It's beautiful. There's a house down here. Let you know when we get to wherever we're going. All right, we found the road, and after another pit stop for someone, not going to mention any names, but for someone, um, we are hiking down it and seeing what we can find. We'll see how far we can get. All right, what do you guys think? Do you think this was a road at one point in time? Because the gravel we were just walking on just ended in this trying to figure out if it was a road at one point in time or if it was just a random trail through the woods that people drove on because they could. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below. We are going to keep our eyes peeled for anything old and or military like and we'll let you know if we find anything. There's a log there too, watch out for that. Okay, so there's a bunch of old stone and stuff. This is looking a lot more old road like. So. We've, it's still, there's this huge drainage ditch all the way along and then occasionally you'll find culverts that go through and lead to like big drainage things that go down that hill right there. So this had to have been a main road that led to something important. Um, it couldn't just be a side road like what it appears to be just kind of a side road to nothingness. So there has to be something that it did lead to at one point in time. So, we're going to see what we can find. If we can find some history or records of it or anything. You see that channel right there? That's not just a random channel on a side dirt road to the back 40 of something. Got some berries though. Yep, we got some berries. That's a clue. What do the berries mean? Anyway, we're going to keep going down here and see what we can find. Who knows, maybe it will dead end, but we'll see. All right, so remember my gate that I found before? Look, that's where we ended up. We're at the gate. So this odd, mysterious trail that I found, we're gonna walk on it for a little bit and just see where it goes. So bear with us here. 
Oh, lots of deer tracks. Somebody put these in here. Hmm. This might just be a random deer trail, but it looks more, looks like more than just a deer trail. So let's follow along and see what we can find here. <laughs> this way. Ooh, fencing. I think we're on the right track. What? Alright, we gotta get over this tree here. Um... Yeah, the trail doesn't... Yeah, it seems like it gets to the tree and then kind of stops. Wonder... That old fence probably just maybe marks the, um... Boundary? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. There is a gate. There was an old, there is an old gate, so that would make sense. Hmm. Just seeing if I see anything. I don't really see anything. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, that's weird. All right, well, we might have to wait for another day then. Because those tunnels have to be somewhere. They exist. But where? Where, oh, where is the question? Hmm. Not here. We we'll have to find them. Alright, I'll let you know if we do anything else interesting. Alright, are we recording? We are recording. So we made it back to the car. We made it all the way down. You saw the trail. We made it all the way back. And then there were like three more cars parked behind us, but we never saw anybody. So we're trying to see if there's another trail down here that we missed. Um, I guess that's kind of all I gotta say. Right? Yeah, I don't... I don't know where the people came from. We don't know where the people came from. We don't, we never see them come. We never saw them go. So we're trying to figure out, is there another trail we missed down here? And we're going to go and look. But I am a sweaty mess. Are you sweaty? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we might have a surprise for you if you make it all the way to the end because you guys stayed this long in the video. We I personally think you deserve to see some runes. So if we can find the runes again, we will show you because so but you gotta stay to the end and yeah, because we couldn't give you tunnels. So but anyways, okay, we'll let you know if we find a mysterious trail that we missed. Alright. Turn it off now. So we might have found something. Um, it's like a trail, but, so we might have found this, is the only thing I can think people might have gone to. Jesse, are you going to look it up on like, all trails or something like that? Yeah. Because there's all, this is where we parked, so the only thing I think of is people went that way, if we didn't see them. Did you find anything? Yeah. I think someone marked it with a stick because there's a giant stick stuck in the ground. Maybe it's just an old tree stump. That's probably a better conclusion. But it is a very unmarked trail, so it's very possible that that's not at all what where people went.
What are your plans, sir? I'm just pulling over while I wait for this to load. Okay. So that we're not just in the middle of the road. That's all. I don't have any plans, definite plans yet. Alright, let's see, where are we? Okay, this is where So this says it's part of Devil's Lake, but it has all of the Devil's Lake trails on here, but it doesn't mark this as a trail. That right there. Is there any trails over there? Uh, it doesn't look like it. So down here is where we are right there. So that would be in this area right here. Huh. Me. Devil's. Like. Yeah. Go. Reload. No internet. <sighs> Fine, I'll play the dinosaur game that you play when there's no internet. Oh. You died. <laughs> Alright. So what are you thinking? I don't know. It's up to you. Do you want to go check it out a little bit or do you just want to go back to where we were going to originally go and save that for another day? We can save this maybe for another day. Okay. Works for me. Alright. Alright. Okay, so change of plans again, because that's what we do. Um, I was doing some research on this place to try to give you guys a little bit of information, but I it didn't process, but I found a bunch of old maps. So I'm going to show you this. Um, we think we might have found where the rockets, rockets are. There's a place called West Rocket and a place called East Rocket on this map, and it's nowhere near where we were walking, so... We're gonna try to go find this place. But here, let me show you the map. I realized that the music was on, so we're just gonna have to. You see that? You can't really tell, but it's there. That blob is where we're going, and we were all the way up there. So we need to go here, and Jesse checked. Um, we can access it, there are trails to it. We just have to find them. So we'll see where it takes us. This might be a part two video. It depends how long it is. All right, bye. All right, we are headed to East Rocket first, whatever that means. I forgot my little guide thing. I have a little guide thing that tells me about these stuff, these things. Excuse me. But I forgot it, of course. Ooh, you can take horses on here. Yes, yeah, so you can ride horses on here. Bikes, horses, basically any recreational thing that is not a motor vehicle. If this was flooded, we could kayak down it. But it's not flooded, so we cannot kayak down it. But anything else is A-OK, -okay, lemon squeezy. All right, we're going, we're looking, we're seeing what's going on. There are hills over here, so. There is something that you could build a rocket testing facility into. Hmm. Mysterious. There's a yellow and black bird over there too. It's gone though. I just saw it flying. That's too bad. It was really pretty. You guys would have liked it. Oh well. Maybe if I see it again, I'll let you know. Keeping an eye out. Keeping an eye out. Looking for anything that looks like a rocket testing facility. It's, I... I'm known for knowing what rocket testing facilities look like, obviously. So I am an expert in rocket testing. Everyone knows that. Okay, sorry, I'll stop. I'll let you know if we see anything else worth talking about. So we found this little side trail thing, and it looks like it kinda maybe goes down or around and down. 
So we're gonna follow this for a little bit and see if this gets us anywhere. Because this definitely is a road that went to something. See the pavement and everything? We just gotta figure out where it's going. Or if where it went to is still around. But we'll see. See if we find anything worth seeing. This curves around, so as long as it still keeps going, it could take us somewhere. Alright, so here we are on the green path, and we could go many different directions. Like that Jesse was saying, so you could go thunder. that way, or you could go that way, you could go that way, or you could go that way. Um, there's definitely a rumbling noise, and we're... 99% sure it's thunder. So uh, we're gonna head on out of here. So we apologize for um, promising you a surprise, but we don't really wanna get stuck in a thunderstorm. But we will do a part two now that we know where the rocket testing area spot is. And that there are so many different paths that we can choose and explore. Um, so yeah, we're gonna Check on out of here. There you go. Do your thing. All right. So, um, subscribe down below so that when we actually do post the other second part video, because we're going to be, because we figured out there's flat-ish ground so we can do stroller and bring the children and they will be fine. Bring a wagon for Haley maybe too. So if she gets tired, she'll be fine. Anyway, subscribe, like the video, comment if you have any ideas on where to look or anything like that, any insider information. Um, follow us on TikTok and on Instagram. Uh, otherwise, until next time, wander wisely. Bye. Okay, so I know Jesse just signed off, but we made it back just in time. It's starting to rain, so I don't know, just like pretty cool that we made it back. Perfect time. See the manger? Okay, now goodbye.